All right, so when we go into this video, first you're gonna hear a Hawaiian chant and go see scenery. Just enjoy the chant. If you don't like the chant, fast forward, all right? Then you're gonna have an indigenous Hawaiian who is mixed and her mother is full Hawaiian and her father is part Hawaiian or <clears throat> whatever he is he's not full his her mother he, she always she says her mother's full the reason why it's key is because it's going to show you a little bit of the history and how things went but it's going to showcase see in Hawaii we had every medicinal plant we needed to survive and thrive so these cancers and all these diseases we had the plants for them and I understand from my lifetime when I was a kid had most of these plants all around and now you can barely find these plants because they went on a war path to destroy everything medicinal to us they destroyed everything. Mauna is a lie. Why? You need a mauna is a lie. Why? A little lie. Why? Lua. Who kia lies a lani. Tapa. Oh, why? Oh, so why? He need a lie. I lie. No, no. No, no. The Ibuha. Talaula mau ka o ka pa e Mai pa a i da leo He o li ta hea mai So when I used to be in Hawaiian class I know the part, the first part was Like a chant asking Asking the creator To allow you to enter his His land Cause we never see the land as ours we, we were just caretakers to own the land is to enslave the land no na ola kai kaulu e ve e tu ana ilu na o mo he la e he o hi atu o ma una lo e lo mai te ola na ula ya ma ko Yeah. 
satellites that they still and they spoke with the T's and the F's and the R's and the S's okay? <laughs> when, the, when the missionaries came they took it away they oh. used only 12 letters and then S for Yesu for Jesus who took the letters away the missionaries, the missionaries. and yeah. I, I just was so sick my mother would say if they would say like Aloha letters and then S for Yesu for Jesus only 12 letters and then S for Yesu for Jesus. They took it away. They oh. used only the F's and the R's and the S's. Okay? <laughs> when, the, when the missionaries came, they took it away. They oh. used the F's and the R's and the S's. Okay? <laughs> when, the, when the missionaries came, they took it away. The F's and the R's and the S's. Okay? <laughs> when, the, when the missionaries came, they took it away. The F's and the R's and the S's. Okay? <laughs> When the, when the missionaries came, they took it away. They oh. used only 12 letters and then S for Yesu for Jesus. Mm. Who took the letters away? The missionaries? The missionaries. And yeah. I, I just was so sick, my mother would say. If they would say like, Aloha, you know, Taroha. And then you would say, my Ta'i, because you're fine. But then we had to say, my Ka'i. They changed it. They changed it. You couldn't use it. Boom. And this is what separated us from the other Polynesians. Because when when they were saying my tapi, we were saying my kaki. And then they they pushed that we all different. Are oh, you Afro people of the of Polynesia? No, you guys all different. You Samoan. You Tongan. You Hawaiian. No, 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 you never come from Hebrews, get out of here, you guys are Asian. <laughs> so, it was T and not K, and that's why I'm Molokai, they still speak with the T. And that's why there's the division, everybody looking at each other, you guys not speaking the right language, and we all not doing the right culture. Keys. What was their ulterior motive in changing it like They that? just didn't want us to speak Hawaiian. Uh, we either had to go their way or we would be punished. They had such a hold on the people. My father fought with a man here. My father just fist fight two young men. And he was barred from Maui by the Marlins and was never allowed back. In the middle of the night, they put him on a freighter going to Honolulu and got rid of him. And he was oh. never to come back. And he never oh, could come yeah. back. Never and never could he come back. We buried him there in Honolulu. Not near the graves of his parents. Mm -hmm. But they lived. They lived, oh my, maybe for 40 years, 30 years more. And uh, that you, you remember so much here. I know. So when did that happen? Oh, that happened in 1920. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. So you hear that? This is not just her story. This is a lot of Hawaiian women's story. They had a husband. The husband gets taunted by some foreigners, by some businessmen. He gets into a fight. Now the Caucasoid who owns that man who who he didn't even buy the land. His his mommy and daddy was preaching Christianity. And the and the, the queen and the king at the time gave them the lands so that they can teach the people English so that 
the Europeans wouldn't take advantage of them as much in terms of language barriers. And then they turn around and turn those lands into businesses and assume the property and then went out from their properties outwards and started capitalizing on everybody's property, paying the land rights and just assuming the property. <clears throat> and then all the way up, just like today, people were persuaded by the word of Christianity and a lot of people gave, gave their property to them. Just like today, every day, all these church organizations get free properties from people passing away or just trying to get rid of their property. The family that he couldn't go We were 12. Oh. We were 12 children. I come from 12 children. Yeah, yeah. we were six boys, six girls. Oh. I am the only survivor of 12 children. Oh. Nobody ever reached 55 but me. Oh. And that's the thing, we were so healthy, we lived so long, we was, we was just living beautiful lives, and then as soon as... I can't believe this, because you could see it was up here, all over neck was yes. up here. So tell me, how did you know of that lady? Who told you about it? My mother said, when all hope fall, fails, yes. you go out to the popolo. Ah. Uh -huh. Fails. Yes. You go out to the popolo. Who told you about? My mother said, when all hope fall fails. Yes. You go out to the popolo. Who told you about? My mother said, when all hope fall fails. Yes. You go out to the popolo. Ah. See, well, we had some strong women, like our ancestors. Boy, the mothers. Hmm. That. Had some knowledge, the strong women, and what they did was they destroyed the man and they destroyed the woman. So today, the counterparts, the descendants of those people, man and female, are not like their ancestors. They're a little bit like them, nothing like them because of our education and our upbringing. And so here we go. Because I would go, I would go to visit my old tutus. They were pure Hawaiians. Oh, tutus, right? Very sad, Very sad grandma. My mother yeah, yeah. was pure Hawaiian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very sad grandma. My mother was pure Hawaiian. Very sad grandma. My mother was pure Hawaiian. Very sad grandma. My mother was pure Hawaiian. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't think you can stop. So, you can see that that wasn't long ago. And she's saying that her mother was pure Hawaiian and her mother's parents, everybody's pure Hawaiian. From just that far back, they have changed the dynamic because there's so many, <clears throat> all the things that they enacted in America, they just brought it to here and they just, initiated it and they already had the game plan. I akaluna opu onioni Akaluna opu onioni ke anai na kawaine Ay akaluna akaluna opu unioni Now this story is I'm going to attach <clears throat> a reading to this and what she's chanting is the story is the story that I was I'm going to be reading and what this is is a story about the lizard god the mo'o and who was called kiva uh hine kihava hine 
ke anna haina akava hine ki va hine das ki ei kaya ulu ki ei kaya ulu o va hine ka bu no anna papala hu ai might not be the same story but it's about that ki ei kaya ulu Ei gaya ulu o wa hine kapu no ho anna o papa la wa La wa hi tele La wa hi tele i tai o puna o ne a kai o malama La hua i pele i dai o puna o ne a kai o malama 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 i te kanaka Ahe pua la o Malama Malama i de kanaka ahe pua la Haina Haina mai da inoa Kua ka puo ni ia ka Haina Haina mai da inoa lai Kua ka puo ni ia ka Hey no, no ia kai ka pole o pele. They came and gave us different heating habits <clears throat> and all types of things occurred now we we only live into 50 50 to 70 but there they come here and they live into 100 something because of the climate and the surround the environment and you're into my 70s you are look at her yeah <laughs> this is what i want i went into my 70s when i made 65 i said I am lucky. Mm, yes. It was my sister who wanted to No, the cojones. Oh, they were bad news. Oh. And some of them were good. They could fight spiritually. Yes. But most times so some of would die. If they told you you go home and pack your clothes and get your funeral ready, because in three days you won't be here, you better go home. So the medicines for us. And I had saved a girl that had brain cancer, Shirley Kalha. I, she asked me if I could accompany her before Shirley Kalpaha and get your funeral ready because in three days you won't be here. You better go home. So the medicines for us. And I had saved a girl that had brain cancer. Shirley Kalpaha. Uh -huh. She asked me if I could accompany her before I even knew that I was bad. You know, that's about three years ago, three, four years. So when we went to Kaiser every month, we'd go. And she went up to her brain. So then the doctor said, there was no hope for it. He said, maybe a month or so. Because she had pancreas cancer. That was the hardest to cure. So I said, when we go home, Shirley, today, I will give you something. So she said, all right. So every morning I'd go out and I'd pick the popolo leaves. It had a purple berry. 
small little berry. That's why they called it popolo. Popolo means purple. Popolo. So I pounded until it became a half a cup. Popolo. Popolo means purple. Popolo. So I pounded until it became a half a cup every morning of the juice and squeezed it. And I made her drink it. In the morning when the sun come out, in the evening when the sun set. Just like mother used to, just like the back and forth. Yes. One month to the day we went back and it was gone. Dr. Mill of the Cancer Institute said, what did you girls do? Because he took the x-ray again. It, did, it was gone. And I said, I gave her the full punch. And he says, I can't believe this. Because you could see it was up here, all over neck bone yes. up here. So tell me, how did you know of that lady? Who told you about it? My mother said, when all hope fall, fails, yes. you go out to the Popolo. Because uh, I would go, I would go to visit my old tutor. Here, here, I'm You go out to the Popolo.